Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on today's spectacular car video, right? Challenger RT 440 Magnum Convertible, which is a lot to say. Also carrying the most powerful handgun in the world. Tell me, punk. Five shots or six shots? Sorry, butchered it. Doesn't matter, we're having a good time. Who even cares? But what a great movie, huh? Magnum Force, Clint Eastwood. Anyway, whew, talk about color combinations. If you're ordering a car back in the 70s, the 70s were full of these high impact colors. And whether you bought uh, a Dodge or a Plymouth, it was Sublime or Limelight, right? Same colors, just different names. This RT's with the big bulge hood and the fresh air intake and all of this good stuff. This car just arrived. We have plans uh, that we've already started on it and we have parts that are coming. This is the kind of stuff we do here just to kind of finalize the detail of it and give you what I see as a great car. Um, for instance, like we have the front spoilers there, we're also adding the going. It has arrived, we just didn't get to it in time. We've detailed under the engine compartment there, but we have a couple small little touches that have arrived. We didn't get to it in time. I wanted to get the video out because I knew it wouldn't be here very long because when you get a car like this uh, and they don't come around, especially with so many options that this car has. And a lot of times we forget to ask about options and we're gonna talk about that once we get to the place where the options are located so you know if you do miss this car what to ask for along the way. All right, anyway, beautiful pictures of the car underneath. Uh, the picture set is fabulous. Let's get started and check out, uh, hopefully, your next car. All right, so paint quality is a huge thing for me. I like to share with people, when you're looking at paint on cars, uh, I like to give this quick lesson, is that like, don't look at the paint. You say, but Tone, you just told me to look at the paint. Now you say, don't look at the paint. No, what I mean by is, look at what's in the paint. Meaning, look at the ceiling and the lights. Can you see them in there? Can you see the ribs in the ceiling? Can you see the font on here? This car just came in. It doesn't even have a description yet. Uh, so we don't have a lot to show you on here. But I can tell you from the glow of uh, the video, and that's why we do the video, because pictures can be enhanced, right? You see people doing all kinds of stuff with pictures. The video is cool because this is the natural state that it is. You can see I'm unattractive. However, this is attractive, and that is not AI, all right? So if we were AI and stuff, I would be a supermodel, which I am not. Anyway, when you come on up here, uh, we can check the quality of the paint. But I want to point out before we even get started like that there, this is cool because this is a decal, this matte stripe here and the matte side stripes there. Some people like them, some people don't. It came on the car, you can take it off if you don't want it. Uh, those are kind of, kind of cool things to make it your own, your call. All right, so back to my original comment is look at the lights and things like that in the paint. You can see how everything is bright. Uh, and while this doesn't have a lot of description in it, look how clear the letters are. These kind of bright colors don't show up so great in the video, but you can see from how clear uh, each and every word and letter is uh, that this is really very nice. All right, so why a Fleming's car versus maybe some other place? I'll show you some of the detail of what I'm talking about. All right, so for instance here, like uh, the detail of the wiper motor and the master cylinder and the brake, uh, the air conditioning system decal, that detail in here, the block and, and valve covers painted correctly where the intake manifold is aluminum, right? These decals here about uh, coolant temperatures. Whew, I get so excited about this stuff. Uh, here. We have the battery topper. We had to order one. We were out of uh, Mopar battery toppers. That'll be here as well when we put it on the car. And so like this little detail stuff when you open the hood, and I say this to everybody, I say like, listen, there's two kinds of people here. There's two owners of this car. One who just wants a cool car, wants to get in it, drive it to work, go home or whatever, uh, which I love as well. And then there's the other person who wants to go to a cars and coffee, go to a car show and whatever. And when you open the hood, you want people to go, wow, that is beautifully detailed. And that's exactly what we have here. It looks really, really good here. We're doing our final last touches. Again, the car just arrived. We didn't even have a description of the car, uh, but you do have 440 here. Let's talk about some of the other stuff that's important, right? For instance, this is factory air conditioning on this car. That's a big deal, man. It was very expensive back in its day. This is an original air conditioned car based on the dash uh, and the layout of things like that. This has power disc brakes. We forget to ask about these cars. These cars came with drum brakes. RT Challengers came with drum brakes disc brakes were an option, all right? This also has power steering, which is a nice addition. A lot of times we forget to ask about that because we, today's modern car all has all of those things and these cars did not come with that. Whew. Slow down, excited, yes, right? Painted bolts all the way around here and a Mopar gets painted differently than a GM or a Ford product. Why is that? Because they spend the extra money 
painting the engine apartment, right? And painting under here where uh, the GM and Ford cars painted all of that satin black to save money. And when we get to the trunk, you're gonna see that's painted in detail as well. And it looks really, really good. All right, so uh, the RT gets a little different style back here than the regular Challengers. Of course, we get the Carl out here, right? But then we get the exhaust and the balance coming out to the quad tips, man. That is a great look for these cars. Imagine once the wing is installed, the go wing on the back here, the black wing with the black interior and the matte black on the hood ties the whole thing together and it looks really nice. Where do we talk about uh, people who take shortcuts on uh, restorations? Well, what they don't do is they don't paint all inside here. They don't paint this silver, paint this body color, put a fresh mat in, detail the jack, the jacking instructions, all of that stuff over here, all painted different colors, jacking instructions here, right? The mat is in here. The last piece we have coming also too is the, uh, is the uh, mini spare that goes in here, the inflated spare. Uh, it's expensive, but I think for this car here, you gotta have it if you're gonna go to a car show and open up here and see that cool uh, spare tire in there, all compact, uh, nestled in there. And then of course, opening the hood too, show you all the good guts that are under there, just adds to the whole experience. Anyway, you can just see from uh, the bushings here, from the plugs, the drain plugs and whatever, all new stuff, trim is new. And I'm getting excited about this because we restore cars that we know what it takes to get a car to this level. And it really does uh, take uh, a good amount of dollars and time. All right, let's jump in. You hear that horrific noise? Oh, grates on my nerves. Anyway, that noise is a good noise, why? Well, because that's the level of restoration that you're getting. That's the key in buzzer, right? That says that you've left the keys in the car. It's still working. Air conditioned dash is a very different dash than all the other dashes. These would not be here, all right, if this was not an air conditioned car. Air conditioning controls over here. This also has the rally dash. The rally dash is a big deal, why? Because it would have had a completely different looking dash if you don't get the rally dash, meaning the whole shape, color, and everything. This has the 150 mile an hour speedometer. It has the 8,000 RPM tack. It has the clock. It has all the gauges for oil pressure, alt and temp, right? This has an upgraded audio system kind of your call. You can put a stock radio back in here, move the digital sound into the glove box and have kind of an all stock dash if you wanted to. We just ordered black mats that'll have the RT on there as well, right? We're finishing up the detail stuff on here. Whew, I get excited. I get, I get winded sometimes, but I don't want to see new door panels and new dash pad and new seat covers and new carpet. And this has been detailed and done as well. All of the good stuff that you would spend a lot of money and time working on is already done for you. It's kind of what we would like to call a Fleming's kind of turnkey delivery. And that's exactly what I want you to think about. Also, lastly, just think about this, taking the kids out or going with another couple to dinner, what have you. It's a whole different experience. It's a sound and a feel that these cars make that make dinner, the circus, time together, whatever it is. It definitely adds a whole nother uh, dimension to fun. All right, so we close up this video and we say to ourselves, Wow, what a cool car. I really like this car. I wonder how it drives. Well, we're actually going to go on a test drive together. We're going to see how that is. The 440 is a lot of power for this little car, and it goes well. The air conditioning is exceptional to have. As we get older, it's just a nice feature. This has a power convertible top, right? Power steering, power disc brakes. It's like all the things you'd want in a car. Um, I'd say if you didn't want uh, radial tires and you wanted like the show style tires, that might be the only thing you could change on the car to make it a little bit more authentic looking. And uh, we talked about the rear wing that's coming in. We talked about a couple pieces under the hood. And at the end of the day, it's a restored, beautiful, beautiful car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool Challenger RT440 convertible. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps us get the message out. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, they might like to see the content as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time, and I'll see you on the test drive. So the question is, what's big block Mopar sound like when you're at a car show and you start it up and everybody, what was that, right? Here's why. car like that you know you got some serious power so what's it like to ride in a big block Mopar convertible well this is what it's like because it does this to your face man you're riding along you know how much power you got but you can cruise it's like being you know what it's like it's like being like a ninth degree black belt 
Like you're not going out and starting fights because you don't need to. You're avoiding fights. We know we got plenty of power here to take on just about anything that comes at us, but we like cruising. And it sound nice going down the road. Oh, what a beautiful day. Wow, beautiful colors. That big hood looking at us right there. Anyway, this just arrived. It is really, really something nice. Handles nicely. Step on the gas and it goes. Whoa. And it has some luxury things too we forget to ask about, you know, like power disc brakes, power steering, right? This has an upgraded audio system in it, which is really nice as well. Let me say this, that driving a car like this not only is it good looking, but I want to share something that I think is the best part about owning these cars. It's like, imagine going to dinner with another couple or the kids in this car, right? And, um, like, food tastes better. Like, going to the circus. The circus is more fun. Like, everything is just so much better. Another couple, the kids going out and doing whatever. And you just, I don't know how to explain it to you. Just... It makes a sound and a feel that you can't get in today's modern car. Listen, today's modern car is incredible, right? It is really amazing. But when you think about it, there's not many modern cars that turn heads like these cars. And then you throw in a big block, throw in factory air conditioning and all the nice luxury things in here as well with a muscle car, convertible, and you got a winner. Color combination is great. Everybody thumbs up because they love it. Like they've never seen one of these before, right? Most people have never seen a big block Challenger convertible. And, uh, and uh, this makes us a nice, a nice addition to anybody's life.